I'm Dave Kenny. I'm an Auto Week advisor. We're getting ready to take out this XJL for a test drive and see if I like it. It's got a very comfortable driving position. The arms and the elbows fit very nice. Steering controls are light and easy. The ride seems firm, not bouncy at all. Handles the choppy pavement pretty well. For a nice sized, good riding uh, sports sedan, so far there's no, I've, I feel no negative. The, the price point of this in, for comparable cars with the same kind of steering, uh, handling, horsepower, and fit and finish on the inside, you'd be hard pressed to find something that is nicer. I think you can find the top four or five are similar for most people to drive. It's actually less expensive than a lot of the competition. So you get a car that probably gets you four or five miles a gallon more than its competition because of the aluminum and the lightweight and you don't have to compromise for it. You can tell it's definitely not a German car, but it has the same feel and most of its competition is, is high-end German large sedans. And this has got much more flair to it. And this is every bit as comparable to the, uh, to the Audi A8 or the Mercedes 7 class. It's, it's an appreciation of, uh, of luxury and it's certainly a high performance car. It does everything really well. Acceleration is right now. You touch it, it goes. Sport mode's a little firmer. Shifts are a little bit faster. Navigation system is very easy in terms of the basics of seat controls, the heated seats. You've got screens in the headrests. You've got the fold-down serving trays like you have on an airplane. Overall impression that this is an exceptional driver's car. It's laid out in a superior high quality way. All the trim, all the leather. I, I love the car, I love the way it drives. It drives much smaller than it is. It handles like a sports car. It competes with, with any other high-end four-door sedan terrifically well. Just an extraordinary car. Would love to have one in my garage. The only thing that, uh, that uh, that's a shame is that I won't be driving this one home.